Okay, for this is class meeting four. Here's the big machine over here. It's in this folder. That's where you find what we need here. And this thing is called uh, Without You for Class 4 Mixing uh, Board, Mackie, June 20. Okay, so this computer, which is actually inside that door there, is connected with a USB cable to this board here. And so you call up the correct scene on this board and you use that snake, the colorful snake, to use the get the outputs... And those plug into here to give you some um, analog inputs into this board. And the actual channels uh, that you plug into are in the class outline. Then <clears throat> I came out of the control room out with a pair of cables here of this board to get an output of this board. And they get plugged into channels 25 and 26 of this board right here. Where is it? Right there. And so then, what that does is, then I came out of a couple of outputs down here. It's the green and red. Let me pause it and figure what that is. So the green and red here are outputs 11 and 12 of the board. These two here were down here at the bottom, output 11 and 12 of the board, and they go across the room and they plug in that little mixer over there. That's simply so I can monitor what's happening with this board here. And that's going back into that little board back there. Now, also inside Cubase, so those two analog outputs that were the red and green cables, that I, I think they, I said they were plugged into 11 and 12, they simply feed this board here Here's those two, uh, the cable, the red and green. They're feeding in into a couple of channels here just so I can monitor that. But in order to send it out to the students out there on the Zoom land, I had to create another input into here, but it's coming from that. It says back in from Mackie, and that is card inputs 25 and 26 because that's the two channels that are being fed from this little board here is control room output. Now, I made a track down here at the bottom that I call monitor. And if we look at the settings on that, here it is. I have a, an, an EQ, I think, to boost up the high end. I got the ultra maximizer. And then I got the listen to plug in, and that's over here. And let's see. So I have the fader up all the way on that. But I don't believe I'm routing this to anything. Uh, let's see if we can investigate that uh, yeah it says no target up here and if you launch the mixer view here and go to the one that says monitor that channel down there says monitor and you go up here at the top there's the routing is it's getting its signal in from the that that thing in the back that says back in from Mackie but you're not routing it out anywhere So here's a better view of that channel. This is that one I call monitor. It's, it, it simply has the little monitor button clicked and the faders at unity gain. And then up here, here's the inserts of it. And up here you can see the routing. We're getting the input. It says back in from Mackie, but we're not sending it anywhere. It's simply used to do this thing here. And so you click log in, you send the students the link. You kind of have to email it to yourself and then paste that into the Zoom meeting so they'll get it over there. Now, over here on this board, I had the uh, this one, this control room thing, full blast. And this fader was about at unity gain. Now, the only reason I did that is so that I could solo out a track and you could hear it soloed. But it turns out that some of the relays in here are, are dirty. I mean, the, the switches... And when you try to do that, it wasn't really going into solo properly. So this board here is the one that has the scratch on the front. This is maybe you should use a different board that's not quite so uh, weathered or whatever. I had this little machine set up here. It's kind of just a monitor thing. And I had some phones plugged in. But I think I said in another, in a 
audio only feedback about the class that the audio coming out of here isn't too hot so it'd be kind of nice just to go ahead and hook up a scarlet so you could hear it nice and loud from this box here so this machine here I have a Cubase project that's located in this folder here and that is first of all for critical listening and that's, of course, this. Lesson two, estimation of sound level changes. So that is like that. Then over here on this, the output of this, I have another one of these listen to plugins in this box. And so I, I click use this to send high fidelity audio to the students. Then later on in the class for the part where they're identifying ugly frequencies, I've got a track down here called ugly frequencies. And I go to that, and that, and I have the that that's the one that Lacey's singing with. I think at 2,000 hertz is really boosted up. Now on this track is uh, let's see, I think I have um, over here. I had span hooked up, and this is how you can monitor what's happening with this. So I've got span going here. It looks like to make this window bigger, it's kind of weird. You don't really go down here to the bottom right corner and do it. You go here on the edge and you stretch it out this way. And then you want to make this bigger at the bottom. You hover over this and pull this down this way. Now, I think for the settings here, I made the actual averaging time faster. So it would react a little more quickly. And I'll go ahead and store this in here like this. So I've got this big span on this screen and I stored a preset for it. Now check it out though. And you know, it shows this big two kilohertz boost. And that's good, but the only problem is it's... Problem is it's not in sync with what they're hearing. So I know you can probably make this work by figuring out how to delay it the right amount. So that's what's hitting here is about half a second later. Now, the only other thing I might recommend is if you can make a video that set, shows something like this. It has these knobs, the blue knobs, and you, you show them when you sweep this knob that selects the frequency here, how that right now it's on 800. You might boost this up and say, okay, that's the boost. That's what, and you'd have a picture of that. And then you sweep this and say, okay, now I'm going to change it to 2000. And so now it goes to 2000 Hertz and you'd have a picture on uh, the, dis the display of that. And then you'd, you'd maybe sweep it now to the back here to say where it says 200 Hertz and you'd show that. Maybe that'd be an easier way for them to understand how this EQ works. All right. There's a lot of stuff to set up for the class, as you can see. And um, you might even have a microphone plugged into here. And that's it.